for Thoroughbred as well as Standard Bread Aftercare. Many racing luminaries in attendance tonight. World famous track photographers, analysts, television hosts, racetrack CEOs, and much, much more. Wally Hennessy in the starter car getting into position. And we will have the Battle of the Big Mouths coming up shortly here at Pompano Park. Again, Gabe Pruitt driving Casey's Believer will have the rail advantage. And Pete Aiello, don't chip me, will be in post two. The boys will be heading to the gate shortly for the Battle of the Big Mouths. Reminder, race five is coming up in about nine minutes. Gabe making his way behind the starter's car. With Casey's Believer, Pete, and don't chip me. Right back at the regular one mile starting point. Gabe has turned around. And Pete is right there in behind. Again, this will be one lap of the Pompano 5 8 mile course. So we'll start right at the finish line and do a full 5 8 lap right where Ryan in Chicago is standing. Starter calls. can see a little gamesmanship between the boys as they get set to line up. Wally Hennessy again in the starter's car as they ever so slowly make their way toward the starting gate. Again, a 5 eight race, so we will start and finish right at the regular finish line. Gate is rolling. Again, it's Gabe in the number one, Casey's Believer, Pete with the two, don't chip me. Gabe in the light blue and white, Pete in the all dark blue jacket.
Car starting to pick up a tiny bit of speed as they come into the stretch. Once again, I do want to thank everyone for participating in the thoroughbred and a standard bread aftercare participation in the charity. We're going to raise tens of thousands of dollars tonight. Bragging rights up for grabs. The boys are behind the gate. So we spin into the Pompano stretch. Capacity crowd on hand. Five-eighths mile for the glory. They are on gate. And they're off. It broke pretty sharply. Gabe is going to go out for the early lead. Pete content to give up that early lead. Going to go down toward the inside and save ground from that second spot. But it is Casey's believer in Gabe Pruitt. And Gabe lights on horn blow. And early on, he opens up two now to uh, Pete Aiello. And don't chip me. He was back in that second position as they have just over three-eighths of a mile left to pace. Gabe in front. Pete right on the helmet in the second spot with don't chip me as they go midway down the back stretch. It's Casey's believer in Gabe Pruitt in front. Pete just waiting in the wings, stalking his bitter rival as they have just over a quarter mile left to go in this Battle of the Big Mouths Challenge. Gabe Pruitt still on the engine. Pete taking the second position. He's going to kick toward the outside on the turn. Pete just pushed the go button. Here comes Don't Chip Me Up on the outside. Gabe trying to release the brakes here on Casey's Believer as they wind around that turn. Casey's Believer getting a couple reminders and digging in grimly toward the inside. Pete Aiello still has to make up a half a length on the outside as they turn to the top of the stretch in the Battle of Big Mouse. We got a horse race on our hands. They come into the stretch. Casey's Believer, Gabe Pruitt. Pete Aiello on the outside with Don't Chip Me and some momentum. 50 more yards between them. Don't Chip Me on the outside with a narrow advantage. Don't Chip Me. Pete Aiello going to do it here. Don't Chip Me in a thrilling Battle of the Big Mouse. One at three quarters. Quarters of a length. Gabe Pruitt and Casey's Believer were valiant, but second best tonight. The Hallandale Hurricane gets bragging rights, wins the Battle of the Big Mouths. Do take note, the judges have posted the inquiry sign. Judges inquiry in progress and has been posted possible interference down the back stretch. A judges inquiry posted here in the Battle of the Big Mouths. Again, a judge's inquiry posted as the two combatants return to the winner's circle. We will have an interview here with John Barry with both Gabe Pruitt and Pete Aiello. Here comes Pete right in front of the grandstand. Inquiry sign on the board again. Pete, alleged interference down the back stretch. Gabe Pruitt lodging that objection. Again, a judge's inquiry here. Gabe alleging interference down the back stretch against Pete Aiello. Stand by for the judge's decision.
After reviewing the inquiry tape, the judges have ruled there will be no change to the order of finish. Results will stand 2-1, and results are now official. Congratulations to Pete Aiello. We will have a winner's circle interview with Pete and Gabe coming up with John Barry here momentarily. Also paging the backup announcer for race five. Go ahead and come on up.